Good morning, welcome to Monday, welcome to another weekly vlog. Apologies for the my windscreen wipers are making a horrible noise. I think when my car went in for a service last week, they put some sort of hideous wax type product on the windscreen that, um, oh, and we've got music as well, it's all going on here. Um, but yeah, that's made them squeaky, so I'll have to wait till that wears off. Annoying. Um, I'll try turning them off, but I don't think that's going to work for long. Anyway, how's everybody doing? This week is going to be a busy one. Today, Monday, um, I'm not doing much, but I've got BT coming to dig up the garden for my full fibre cable, supposedly. Poor buggers in this blooming weather, that's rotten, isn't it? Um, so that's going on today. Then tomorrow, God, I hope the weather's going to be better. It's due to rain all week, apparently. The lady in the post office has just told me. Tomorrow I'm going to Exeter for the day with my best friend for a bit of shopping, bit of lunch, bit of chatting. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that. Wednesday, what's going on Wednesday? I'm having my hair cut and coloured. Um, Thursday, I'm going out for lunch with my former sister-in-law. Looking forward to that. Um, Thursday night, Ashley is out at, um, he's been invited by some um, people he works with. It's a rugby do, local rugby do, and he's been invited by um, a local solicitor to go to that. So he's looking forward to that. Friday, we are away for the night up on Dartmoor with some friends who are over from Australia, old friends, um, who we haven't seen since the, just before COVID, just, just very much, they came over in February. 2020 so we haven't seen them since then so looking forward to seeing them wait for the night with them on friday saturday night we are going to see rick stein at the theater in torquay mum bought ashley tickets for that for his um christmas present so that and then sunday which is easter sunday we're going for lunch with friends at their house um and then monday i should be lying in a dark and dream recovering from all that <laughs> So, yeah, busy, packed week, but lots of lovely social things to look forward to, so that's nice. Weekend was okay. We um, didn't, Ashley was very busy with DIY around the house. He's doing new radiators and um, bits and pieces in, um, doing some plumbing bits and pieces um, in Will's room and one of the spare bedrooms. Um, so he was tied up with that most of the weekend. Um, oh, today we've got to take the towel rails over to um, the, and the mirror frames over to the guy who's going to powder coat the rest of them. That needs doing. Um, tomorrow my car is going in to have its brakes done, which I'm looking forward to because I've been very gingerly driving it since they told me the brakes needed to it when it went for the service last week. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the moment. I uh, wish it would stop raining. I really do. Could this be any more depressing? Honestly, even the sheep next door in the field look depressed. They're all lying down. Poor devils. Anyway, it's nearly lunchtime. I'm going to have some leftover Chinese takeaway. Some chicken chow mein, I think. No, chicken chop suey from Friday night. And got a little tip for you, actually. I tried a little TikTok hack, a home fragrance hack. Um, over the weekend and it worked really well. You know these scent boosters that you put in your laundry? They used to be super expensive, they're a bit cheaper now. These ones were own brand from, I think from Lidl, they're coconut flavour. Put a few of these, and you only need a few, into a saucepan of boiling water, pop it on the stove at, no lid, at just the lowest simmer and within 10 minutes, you've got the most beautiful fragrance um, through the kitchen and into the house. It's really good when you've got cooking smells that are sort of lingering and you can't get rid of. The only thing I would say is make sure you wash the pan super well afterwards because the scent is really strong and tends to cling a little bit. But um, yeah, that worked really well. That's one that I will definitely be using again. I think so many of us have got open plan sort of living spaces now, haven't we, where you can't close a door on the kitchen and so the cooking smells tend to get out throughout the house, don't they? So it's nice to be able to stop them and that is one of the best ways I have found of stopping 
cooking smells. So yeah, that's definitely worth a try. Right, I'm gonna warm up my chicken at chop suey and um, have a little lunch break. I'm watching um, Grey's Anatomy at the moment. I'm catching up on season 19 and 20 because I haven't watched either. Actually, I think I have watched some of 19 and um, I'm re-watching it from the beginning there because I can't remember where I got to. Lunch is done. Only halfway through my episode of Grey's Anatomy and I need to go through to drop off the towel rails and mirror frames and bits and pieces up to the powder coating people. So that's what I'm off to do now. Go me, two tuna pasta bakes ready, apart from the grated cheese on the top, one for tonight and a little one for the freezer. Yay. It is just after six. Hang on, that's not a good angle, is it? There we are, that's better. It's just after six and, oh, it's been a busy day, but a productive day. So that's good. I'm just taking my makeup off and I'm going to do a bit of a face mask, I think. Um, and then have a really nice hot shower. In exciting news, the other side of that silver Celotax there is now a bath in our bathroom. It's not in position yet, but it's there. The one that's been sitting in our garage since we bought it in 2020 is um, now in the bathroom. They had a hell of a job getting it up from the garage because I don't know if you're aware we live on the side of a hill, the top of a hill, and um, the house is sort of built into the hill, so it's a slope like that. So the garage is down here, the bathroom's up here. And, um, yeah, it's a very, very heavy bath. They had to enlist Ashley to help, two plumbers, two builders, and Ashley to get it up from there to here. But it's now there and just needs a minuscule bit of moving, so that's good. Anyway, another news, I had quite a productive day. Um, got quite a lot of eBay stuff done and some admin and cut my pasta bakes, as you will have seen, and dropped off all the gold bathroom stuff to be sprayed pink. That, then I had to take Ashley to drop his car off to be mended because his car is not working. Uh, was like we went and dropped that off and I took him back or he bought, bought him back here and he took my car back to the office for the rest of the day because I didn't need it anymore. And since we got back at about, I don't know, that must have been about four o'clock, I've been um, planning content for YouTube for next month and for Instagram and Facebook as well. Um, I've got a Facebook page for this channel and an Instagram account which are both li linked down there well if you want to go and follow and they have been very much um, neglected of late um, and I really want to start using them again so I've set myself a challenge for um, the rest of March which by the time you see this it will be April anyway. I'm aware how ridiculous I look by the way. <laughs> but yeah, the rest of March and all of April to post on those socials, my Instagram and my um, Facebook page twice a week. So there's all sorts of things I think, oh I could share that with everybody and then I don't do it for whatever reason or get, never, get, never got around to it and um, I really want to get better at that. I feel like I want to do that more regularly. Um, so yeah, that's one of my goals for April. Anyway, I also want to make every month, I think, when I do my content planning for the following month, I think, oh, I really must um, go and spend an afternoon, not in the house, out having a coffee or something in a cafe or just somewhere else um, planning my content because I feel like it's much easier to be creative when you're not surrounded by everything that needs doing at home. Um, and I never get around to doing it and I really must make an effort to do that once a month because I feel like I would be much better and it would take me far less time if I did it somewhere that wasn't in the house. Um, so yes, that is also on my list for doing going forward. Over the weekend, Friday I think it was actually, but um, whatever day it was, I wasn't filming. Um, Kate, Duchess, Princess, Princess of Wales, Kate, um, Catherine, put up her video about um, the fact she's got cancer and being treated for cancer 
and I almost don't want to talk about it because so much has been said and speculated about and chewed over on social media that quite honestly it turns my stomach that that poor woman has got to the stage that she feels like she's got to explain her personal and private health details to the world and it's just made me despair of social media just in you can't help but if you're traveling around the world of social media over the last few weeks to have seen a lot of the nonsense that um was being speculated and guessed about the conspiracy theories about the, the pair of them william and kate and um, just I, just even reading it puts it into the algorithm doesn't it and makes it appear for more people so even looking at it and reading it even if you don't comment or speculate yourself is making a making people money out of nasty vicious unfounded speculation and b pushing it up the algorithm so more and more people see it and look at it and comment on it and discuss it um I just feel really sad for her that, I mean, I can't imagine what it must be like, A, having cancer at that age anyway, just awful for her, you know, but B, having your life scrutinised online to that extent, I mean, yeah, I, j I just cannot imagine what it must be like, and yeah, okay, she's a member of the royal family, and, um, you know, there's a level of interest in her, but for goodness sake, I hope, I'm truly hope that some of these people discussing these ridiculous conspiracy theories and speculating and gossiping were ashamed of themselves when the you know she had to sit there and make that film and talk about it because yeah just generally awful anyway that's all i've got to say about that right i am going to let this do its thing for anybody who wants to know it's the ordinary aha bha um, peeling solution um, and then I'm going to have a really nice really hot shower and then I'm going to put my pasta bake in the oven and veg out on the sofa that's my plan for the evening good morning it's Tuesday it's been a morning already it really has yesterday I think I told you the plumber or the builders put the um, bath into the new bathroom decided i don't like the position of it it's too far out from the wall i feel like it's gonna stick out into the room and to be fair the builder agreed with me when i was looking at it with him this morning and um, we've decided it's got to be moved which means taking a tile out and redoing the waste and oh dear <sighs> It's got to be right though, it's costing us so much money this bathroom that I feel like it, it just has to be right and as I said the builder agrees so I'm not going to be here when the plumber arrives so <laughs> that's good, I'm pleased about that. I'm off to Exeter today for um, the day with my friend Faye, really looking forward to that, doing a bit of shopping and um, having some lunch and all of that nice stuff. I'm um, just switching from one handbag to another to my crossbody bag because I find that easier for um, wandering around all day than a big tote on my shoulder these days. God, I've got a lot of rubbish in here. It's 10 o'clock. Um, my car has gone into its brakes done. Ashley's dropped that down to have that done, so that should be done by the time I get back. That's good. Um, Faye's husband is picking me up at about half past 10. I've done my eBay listings for the day, I've done all my emails, I've done my parcels, um, I've set the dishwasher off, no laundry today, so that's good. Um, the house is looking fairly under control, so, and I've got stuff out of the freezer for dinner, so yay, winning at life today, go me. Um, right, I'm going back to sorting up this lot out, and um, I'll catch up with you later on. I am loving all this spring bedding at Marks and Spencer's. How gorgeous are these prints? Also, this tableware, gorgeous wick mats. I love the glasses as well. Yeah. 
Wayne stuff, stuff I really go into but Faye's bought me in here. Tell me who is buying this monstrosity. That is, to me, that's hideous. Do you like that? Vile, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we're in John Lewis. Look at this, we're in Hobbs. I think we're in the Hobbs section. And, no, this is oh no, John this is John Lewis. Lewis. This, is, this John is a pair of trousers. Faye is, how tall are you? Five foot four. Five foot four. And <laughs> she's got the trousers around her neck. <laughs> And well, that's how long they are. <laughs> they come up, uh, I'd be like Tweedledee and Tweedledum and wear them under my armpits. <laughs> Who is wearing these trousers? <laughs> go that way. How many years ago we were going to have a tequila bar at the top of our garden? Yes. I feel like this would be the, this one. Would be the one. That would fit perfectly in that space. How much is it? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Have you seen? It's £8,300. Cushion. What? I mean, it's worth it just for that cushion. Just for the cushion. Yeah. I think you and I could be very happy having a little cocktail yeah, in there. Trust in my garden. Summer house. Nice. Hello. It is about God. Just take my makeup off and do my skincare. So apologies for what I look like. It's about half past eight. Got in about an hour ago, I guess had such a lovely day it was so nice we laughed and we chatted and we ate and we drank and we shopped and we just had a really nice girly day out it was much needed i feel like my cup of friendship is filled up today isn't that nice that's a nice feeling to have really really enjoyable had a really lovely day um Pretty exhausted now. Yeah, I got in about an hour ago and um, Ashley, bless him, has made me a cheese and tomato omelette, which was just what I fancied. Um, had a really nice lunch at a new place that we've been meaning to try for a while and it was really good. And we decided that we will take Ashley and Steve, Steve, Steve is Faye's husband, back there. We'll have an evening there, one evening. Um, Sorry, that's a lot of repetition of the word evening. <laughs> we will go there for dinner one evening um, in the, when the evenings were a bit lighter, get the train over to Extra and have an sort of early evening um, meal and some drinks and go there, yeah. Um, so that was nice. Um, I didn't buy loads of exciting stuff. I will show you tomorrow. I didn't buy anything exciting, actually, truth be told. Um, I will show you tomorrow what I bought because I've left my shopping in the dining room. Another busy day tomorrow. I don't know if I told you the BT people didn't turn up to do the digging they were meant to do yesterday. Allegedly, they're coming tomorrow. I will believe it when I see it. We shall see. Um, also, having my hair done. My hairdresser's coming over tomorrow. Um, I'm having a tea section of highlights and a cut. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And haven't even looked at my emails since I got in, so I've probably got about 150 emails sitting waiting for me, but never mind, I had a lovely day and that's the main thing. And now I'm going to have an early night, I go to bed with my Kindle and read some of my book and just generally be grateful for my lovely day. So I will see you again in the morning. Oh, welcome to Wednesday. Oh my God, it's been a morning. It's 20 past nine. <laughs> It has been a morning already. The builders told me today, they are finishing off today, the plumbers are coming to put in the basins and the cabinets and the toilet and the shower screen and all of that malarkey and the shower, um, which means the plumbers are gonna be unsupervised, which concerns me because the plumbers don't have the, quite the same attention to detail that the builder has. But, um, <laughs> it is what it is I can't change it so that's that um, the electrician is next and he can't come to next Thursday because of the four-day bank holiday weekend so that's another week with no bathroom oh I've got a bathroom but you know with it being not completely done but we, we're getting there we're getting there anyway the BT guys did I tell you this that they didn't turn up on Monday when they were meant to come and dig through the garden for the full fiber um, they turned up. They came this morning. They, they rearranged for today, so I was expecting them. Um, I had just gone to drop Ashley off to work because we are still down to one car. Yay, my car is mended, so that's good. <laughs> I've got new brakes. Um, 
so I did my parcels early, went to drop Ashley down to work, I was in the queue in the post office when I had a call from um, my cleaning lady Becky who just arrived at the house and the Open Reach BT guys were there um, and they wanted to speak to me because they weren't entirely sure of the dig route so I had to whiz, I'm meant to be going to Tesco's um, and I'm having my hair cut at, oh, I've highlighted and cut at 10.30 <laughs> and the queue at the post office talking to the BT man and the BT man um, wanted me to go and um, confirm the dig route with him just fi to finalise it just so they weren't digging in the wrong place and so I've just been home and done that and the garden, as you know our garden's on a slope and we were walking up the garden I was t discussing the route with him we finalised it, I, we turned around and started walking back down I was walking sort of on the edge where it's really muddy because of all the rain and I slipped over and fell and I bent my leg up behind me and honestly I could have cried it was so so painful and there's these two BT guys I couldn't get up and my, my leg was bent underneath me and I think they thought I'd broken my leg or something but it's just because I've got my arthritic knee I couldn't unbend it from where it was so I had to get them to unbend my knee and they still won't let me help you up and I was like no I just need to sit here and gather myself for a minute so I sat there in the mud <laughs> gathering the poor guys didn't know what to do oh my god um anyway i got up i'm absolutely soaked my bum is muddy and soaked but i've got a long cardigan on which for some reason hasn't got muddy and so, so i just got straight in my car and now i'm off to tesco's and i feel like it's been a morning already <laughs> i'm ready i'm ready to go back to bed i had the worst night's sleep last night anyway if i sound a bit manic i apologize i feel a bit manic this morning um oh god um yeah i went to sleep fine last night because fair i'd had a couple of cocktails um yesterday i think alcohol and we've talked about alcohol and sleeping before haven't we but i was wide awake at two o'clock and sat up until about four o'clock um when i went back to sleep and then of course didn't want to wake up this morning and i'm gonna be napping by this afternoon anyway never mind we're all in one piece the bathroom will get done the full fibre broadband will get done. I haven't broken my leg. <laughs> and I'm off to Tesco. And I'm having my hair done later. <laughs> and I was thinking I'm having highlights. And then Kirsty's cutting my hair and she comes to the house. My previous hairdresser went on maternity leave for a year. Kirsty's sort of a new friend I made through um, my quiz team. And she does hair at home. So she came and did it last time. And she's coming again this time. But I've just realised I haven't got a bath to lean over. Usually I lean over the bath and she rinses or, and washes my hair. Um, that way, I haven't got a bath. I've only got a walk-in shower. So I'm going to, when I need to have the bleach washed off, I'm going to have to go and physically have a shower. Hence, I haven't bothered putting any makeup on or had a shower this morning. So <laughs> there's that as well. Anyway. As if this week wasn't manic enough, when I was out with my friend Faye yesterday, when, I think I told you Ashley's going to a rugby do tomorrow night, Thursday night, and um, Faye's husband is working, he's a taxi driver and he's working tomorrow night, so we've decided that we'll go out as it's the first day of the four day weekend. So we are going to go into town, I'm going to go and pick Faye up and we're going to go into town and have a couple of drinks and um, then I think we're going to come back to my house and um, have something to eat. I'm just going to do like a cheese board and some picky bits and that sort of thing. So that would be nice. Um, another activity to add to my already full weekend. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, right, I am at Tesco's. As if my morning wasn't bad enough, look at how close this absolute, better not say it on the internet, person has parked next to me that much gap it is two o'clock i've just had my hair done very pleased with the color and the finish and um, i wanted to show it to you because as you can see i've got this my top bit straight and some little curls flicky curls in the bottom and the reason i've got it like that is i asked my hairdresser kirsty um to try out some straighteners that i've been sent i quite like straighteners but i am not great at doing my hair with them particularly i'm sort of trying to learn but i wanted kirsty to try them out to give it to give me an honest um 
opinion of what they're like and she said she was really impressed with them they slid through the hair beautifully and they are better than ghds quote unquote in that they um you can manually adjust the temperature downwards if you don't want it to be 230 degrees which i didn't know that i did used to have some ghds years and years ago so if you can hear scratching as my tortoise trying to climb climb up the wall bless him <laughs> having a bit of exercise um so yeah i'll pop a link in for these if anybody is interested but um kirsty definitely gave these the seal of approval also they heat up in 20 seconds 20 seconds to full heat so um yeah and she's done the straightening and the curling bit with them um she's obviously much more skilled at um doing straightening and curling than i am with them but i am trying to learn i've been following some youtube tutorials with mixed success so far but yeah she was impressed with them so i will pop a link down in the description box if anybody's in the market for new straighteners that don't cost as much as all those expensive brands of straighteners do and are apparently just as good so yes right i need to go and pick ashley up and my leg has completely seized up where um i fell this morning it's really quite painful so i need to pick ashley up because he needs the car this afternoon um and yeah then i'm gonna sit down and have some lunch and possibly not do anything for the rest of the day because i feel frazzled i still feel very frazzled this is tonight's dinner prepped and ready to go in the oven it is pork and beef meatballs with new potatoes peppers and a parmesan chili garlic sauce type of thing and the meatballs have got pork and beef and mustard and italian herbs and an egg and probably some other stuff in that i can't remember now but i'm quite proud of myself because i actually managed to make dinner and it has been a day it really has it's about half just coming up to half past five what i am going to do is show you what i bought in exeter so that i can go and put it away two new shower scrunchies in primark they were two pounds body puffs apparently i call them a shower scrunchie i love those i've used them for years and years um, I did also buy some sunglasses in Primark. Now, I know I threw away sunglasses recently, but these are sensible purchase sunglasses, and I've broken a couple of pairs recently. Not threw away, decluttered. They went to the charity shop. Um, I got these ones. These were £2.50. I need a pair to keep in the car because I haven't got any in the car anymore because they either disappeared or broke or whatever. And these ones which were also £2.50 they're not crazy shapes or not sensible or anything so those two pairs of sunglasses I then got some I like Primark skincare this I always use a vitamin C serum in the mornings and I'm using a body shop one at the moment but I thought I would try the Primark one which is only £7 this is a vitamin C 10% booster serum for dull and tired skin as I said to my hairdresser this morning when we were discussing it, I assume it's for skin that is dull and tired to stop it being dull and tired rather than for the purpose of producing dull and tired skin because nobody wants dull and tired skin, do they? I also got um, two pairs of scrunchy socks. Are they scrunchy, slouchy socks? I've been wanting some slouchy socks. Wrong time of year to be buying these really, but I've been wanting some all winter and I had some bookmarked on Amazon, but it was... 20 quid for three pairs and these were only four pound fifty for two pairs so there we are i got some new hair scrunchies because a couple have broken recently and um then i got oh in the white company i forgot about this i had forgotten about this i bought do you remember i moved my neon diffuser to the office i've been using it every day every day that I've been in the house and in the office. Um, and I just treated myself to these in the White Company, two new diffuser oils. There we are. We've got a grapefruit one and one in the scent Capri, which I assume is the Isle of Capri, which is very summery vibes. Um, yeah, two of those. They're in the sale and I think it was, hold one moment, caller. It was six pound no it wasn't six pounds it was yeah six pound thirty each down from ten pounds 
so £12.60 for the two they're normally £10 each though so that was quite good then in boots I got not always very good with putting on my SPF in the summer and I'm determined to be this year and I saw this being advertised somewhere on the internet and I decided to give it a go it's the Garnier Skin Active Vitamin C Daily UV Brightening Fluid um, it, this is the invisible version they also do a glowy version a glowy tinted version I think I didn't want that um, and it's got an SPF 50 in it that's what it looks like inside so I'm determined to be better with SPF this summer than I usually am I do like a bit of sun to get to my skin you know probably shouldn't but that's just me and then I've been wanting to try this for ages the revolution skin silk foundation um, I got that in FF4 as my revolution color um, more expensive than my normal revolution one and this is a luminous serum foundation I thought that might be quite nice for summer um, I think this is about 10 pounds I'll link this one uh, shall, I, shall I link both of these below in case anybody's interested this was about eight pounds I think this was 11 pounds from memory but yes I will obviously feed back on what those things are like when I start using them Okay, Ashley's just got home from work. We're going to have a look at the bathroom. It's a bit light? dark. Yeah, it is dark. They've not got the working lights. Oh, they're not plugged in there. Oh, that's lovely. What are we admiring? The walk-in shower. Oh, nice, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Fabulous, but the piece de resistance is my bath. Look at that. So it's not actually going to be on those, obviously. <laughs> and my tap, which caused them great problems today. So happy with the tiles as well, which you're probably not getting the full effect of. I wish they painted the ceiling. Yes, all looking good. Getting there. Slowly, slowly getting there. Hello there. This is my clematis that I look at out of my bedroom window. Um, there's one there and one there. And Ashley asked the gardener to cut them back. Um, I say the gardener, he's like the guy who mows the lawn he doesn't know loads about plants um and he cut them back so hard they were right up here and he cut them back so hard i thought they were dead but look new shoots new life is coming and also on the other one so that's good welcome to thursday and i don't say that in any manner that indicates that thursday looks like it wants to welcome us at all quick outfit of the day I have got on this slightly sparkly jumper dress I don't know how well you can see the sparkles in that um, which came from two at Sainsbury's last year and it's the comfiest coziest dress I own and with it being almost April obviously I need my warmest comfiest cozy dress on <laughs> snowed in a lot of parts of Devon last night not here though thankfully I've also got on my knee-high boots I think these came from Simply Be a couple of years ago they again are they've got a little heel but very comfortable and then I've got on little dangly earrings that I've had for years and I can't remember where they came from just blow dried it with the hot brush this morning just to um, get it all back into place and looking a bit better and I'm really pleased with it I love the colour I've gone a bit brighter for summer you can't see the colour properly there that's better in terms of colour but yeah I'm really pleased with it Right, it's half eight. I need to take Ashley to work because he still has no car. I need to pick up the parcels from the post office. I need to very quickly whiz to Sainsbury's and then get on with the day. Right, I'm back home. The weather has cleared up marginally. Hasn't done much for my hair. I had to wear my big coat with my hood because it was so, so vile out there. Honestly, poor people trying to entertain or do outside things with kids during the Easter weekend. I think it's going to be something of a washout. Luckily, all my plans are indoors. But, yeah, it's always nice to get out on Easter weekend, isn't it? But I feel like it's there's not going to be a lot of that. But maybe summer is just around the corner and it's going to be amazing and lovely. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about, just let me neck my pills quickly. There we are. Anyway, what I was going to talk about this morning, unpack my Sainsbury's shopping as we chat, um, was how much I am enjoying doing these weekly vlogs again. And um, I'd forgotten what it was like in terms of 
the chatting in the comments I sort of because I'm picking up the camera every day or every day during the week and just talking about what's on my mind it's all sorts of stuff and it is very much as several of you have said in the comments because you're obviously enjoying watching these as well um you've said it's like having coffee with a friend and a chat and that's lovely because that's sort of what I'm aiming to do here a lot of the time you know it's it's nice to show you products and clothes and all of that stuff but having a chat is really where it all started and um that's the heart of it and I like that and um, yeah I've really enjoyed reading your comments and chatting with you a little bit in the comments about all the things that I'm talking about um the olive oil chat the other week was really interesting and something that obviously resonated with people and people are still talking about that at the moment and then last week I talked about having ashes in jewellery and how it wasn't something that I was into and lots of you have replied about that saying you agree but sort of some people agreeing and some people saying no you get a lot of comfort from having a little piece of your loved one with you which is lovely you know my my, my opinion is obviously not the right one it's only an opinion just like all of our opinions are aren't they and um, I like that we're able to discuss these things like adults without all falling out about it you know that's nice um, but on the subject of the discussion about the ashes in jewellery somebody left a comment which I read this morning I was going through a replying and reading them this morning and um, somebody left a comment saying they had a locket I think it was with their father's or mother's, can't remember which one, um, handwriting of their name in their father's or mother's handwriting. And I thought that was such a lovely idea. It really made me want something with my dad's handwriting of my name on it, um, engraved into it. And that's given me real food for thought. I can't remember the name of the person who left the comment, but thank you for that that is something that I think I am going to explore a little bit further because I think I would like that and the other thing I wanted to come back on was there was a lot of co comments about I was talking about the advert for Tampax and I didn't like the wording of it and a lot of you saying that you thought it was a really good thing that um you know it's not a taboo subject anymore and I wholeheartedly agree with that you know menstruation is a thing women have periods um, and we should talk about it it certainly shouldn't be something we're afraid to talk about but my point really that I was making around that advert was I didn't like the way they used the word words like torrential as a analogy for periods it purely in the same way that if it was an advert for like an anti-sickness drug, like an Alka-Seltzer or something, I wouldn't want them saying a torrent of vomit, you know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't need a description of the, in that manner, you know? So, you know, it was just the wording of it rather than the fact that they're advertising Tampax. I have no problem with Tampax advertising whatsoever. But I, I love the way we're chatting in the comments about these things and it feels like my channel is getting back to that sort of friendly coffee chat type stuff which I'm very happy about and I enjoy and I am thinking on that note I am thinking my battery lights just come on so I might get cut off mid-flow <laughs> but I am thinking of making the comments being turned off on clothing videos a more permanent thing I feel like there's not a lot of value added from opinions about clothes in those videos I'm literally showing you things that I'm trying on what's available and in the in these videos where we're all chatting about day-to-day -to -day topics I think the comments is a brilliant place really interesting and I love reading your takes on things as I said I take things away from it and you give me recommendations and it's all brilliant but on those videos I'm, I'm wondering if we really need a comment section so I'd be quite interested in your thoughts on that um yeah let me know what you think about that right I must go I'm going out for lunch with my sister-in-law today and then coming back doing a bit of work this afternoon and then going to pick up my best friend and we are off out this evening excited for that so um today is only Thursday but it will be the last day of the weekly because tomorrow's bank holiday so um yes I'll catch up with you in a bit anyway right I'm going to show you some things that I've bought I think I mentioned yesterday I wanted to talk to you about this new app that I've been enjoying. It's called Whatnot. And it's that little double heart one down there, if you can see it. And the easiest way for me to describe Whatnot is that 
as YouTubers to reality television, what not is to the shopping channels on TV. <laughs> it's sort of the more informal version of that, if that makes any sense to you at all. Um, I became aware of Whatnot because obviously, as you know, my other job apart from YouTube is selling online. I sell clothes online, used clothes. And um, a lot of people within the reselling community started up doing live selling, live auctions on um, Whatnot. And I kept seeing it mentioned on Instagram and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go and have a look at this. So I... Um, got the app and I had a look at it uh, and I gradually got sucked in. It's, it's not, the selling on whatnot, it's not something that I would ever particularly want to do personally. Various reasons, most of which is time. Um, I just don't have the time to add another thing to do, but I love buying from people on whatnot. Um, but I love buying on there and um, what I'll do is I'll show you some of the things I have bought. Um, First of all, so what I'm going to do is show you some of the things I've bought, then I'll tell you a bit more about how it works. And also, um, I've got a link that you can um, get £10 free to spend on there. So bear with me. Let's just start. I was waiting till today to tell you about this because I'm waiting for another parcel. Not saying I'm addicted, but um, but it hasn't turned up. It's um, stuck at the depot. So um, we shall. I'll show you that one next week. But... First thing about and all of these cost between one and three pounds. One and three pounds. It's auctions. Um, but yeah, one and three pounds, apart from one, which was six pounds, but or seven pounds, I think, but I'll show you that one. First of all, I got this monsoon sort of floaty tunic top. It's a sort of orangey red. It's got some embroidery on it around the hair. It's a very monsoon type of thing. It's the old label of monsoon. But um, it's a 22 and it's just a cotton kaftani top. I thought that would be lovely for the summer, either over a swimsuit or with a pair of crop trousers or something really nice and lightweight and it's cotton. Then I got these. I wasn't sure about these. They are Marks and Spencers. They're striped and they're tapered. You know I love a tapered trouser. They're in a 20, so that I'm generally a mark of 20 in Marx's trousers, and they look a good length. They're sort of medium weight fabric. I'm not sure if they're a bit pyjama-y, but I thought perhaps for the summer, with a black top and black sandals, they might be quite nice. They've also got pockets, and they work two quid, so I, they look as though they've never been worn. The label is absolutely pristine, look at that. So I thought I'd give them a go. Then I got this. This is actually a two-piece <laughs> sequin did i hear the word cruise oh yes this is brand new with its tags i do i think i paid five pounds for this actually so this one was um a bit more than the one to three pounds that i've been spending um this is by capsule which is simply b it's brand new with its tags and it is sequined trousers tapered trousers and a matching sequin jacket now, I'll be honest, I only got this for the jacket. I really wanted the sequin jacket. There's no point in putting it on over this, but I have tried it on and um, I'm really pleased with it. It's just like a little short evening waterfally jacket. And I thought that would be really nice as part of an evening outfit, either at Christmas or on a cruise, lovely and sparkly. And I thought I would sell the trousers on because I don't, I mean, I haven't tried them on yet, so I might like the two of them together, but I suspect that the trousers won't be for me. So I'll just pop those on vintage to sell, but absolutely chuffed to bits with this jacket. I also got these shoes. These are brand new. They are from Mark Spencer, I think, no, Next. They're Next shoes. They are from the Forever Comfort range. They've got a really nice soft insole, um, a sling back, peep toe, little bit of a heel. I thought they would be nice for on holiday, perhaps. I like a bit of snake print and I like the sort of neutral colour, so I thought I'd give them a go. I have tried these on, I've wandered around the house a bit in them, and although they've got heels, they are quite comfortable with that insole. And um, I have wide feet, but I find that the next Forever Comfort range is okay without me having a specific wide foot. It generally is quite generous on the foot. So yeah, three quid for brand new shoes from Next. And then these I think were two. I think I paid two pounds for these. They're some of the jeggings of dreams from Marks and Spencers. You know how much I like the 
um, high rise jeggings from Marks and Spencers and these are in a 20 and they are brand new with tags and they're in this sort of burgundy colour. I think these will probably be more autumn winter for me so they'll go in the cupboard for, well, I say this looking out at the rain. It's pretty wintry already, isn't it? But, yep, brand new Marks and Spencer jeggings. Can you see why I'm addicted to this app now? And then I got this gorgeous floaty top from, this is just F&F &F from Tesco. I th think I paid a pound for this one. This is in a 22. I thought that would be lovely for holidays. It's got these gorgeous wide sleeves look. I really like that. Just floaty and pen it's pink. I like pink. So there's that one. And then the final one that I got in this pile is this. This is by Diane von Furstenberg. It's pure silk. I paid seven pounds for it. And it's a caftan, a beach cover-up type of thing. It's Look at that gorgeous print. I love it, the pink and yellow. And it's sort of chiffon. Then it's got a jersey layer underneath. And if you know your brand labels, you know that Diane von Furstenberg is um, quite an expensive American designer. So I was quite thrilled to get that for that price. But yeah, I've been really enjoying whatnot. It did take me a little while to start buying on it. I was watching it and not really getting how it all worked. But um, as soon as I started buying, it does get addictive. And um, so I'm sure I'm open the app now and you can see, you can follow various sellers. I've got a couple of my favorites who I enjoy I'll put, pop their name, usernames in as well so you can follow them if you like and watch their shows and it shows who's live at the moment it's mostly clothes sorry it's mostly Pokemon cards it started out as a site that sells that sort of thing Pokemon cards and other things and it's recently gone into clothes a bit more and jewellery um, my friend, do you know Lex? Lex Bear Biscuit. I know a lot of you watch her. She sells on here. Um, but yeah, it shows you who's live, and then you can just click into their shows, yeah, like so. And that's, I'm not, not sure how much I'm not meant to put this on YouTube. But um, yeah, so you click in, there's a little chat going up there, and then they show you what they're selling, and you can buy on the bottom there. So if you are interested in having a look at it, as I said, I have an affiliate link which gives you. Um, £10 to spend on the site, £10 free, you don't have to do anything for it. I think that doesn't include post gym packing. Most sellers, if you watch a show of a particular seller, um, it's £2.70 for post gym packing and if you buy more than one item, each item after that from the same seller is only 30p post gym packaging. So it goes down the more you buy from one seller. It's really worth having a go. If you enjoy shopping on Vinted or eBay for used clothes, I think it's worth having a go at. It's, um, it's quite fun, it's a bit interactive, it's interesting to see what they sell and as I say you can get some absolute bargains on there so I'll pop the info down in the description box and I'll also pop it in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section gosh this was a really long segment I've been chatting for almost 10 minutes I've just edited this vlog and I realized that I never did any sort of outro so here I am saying that I hope you're having a lovely weekend no, you're having a lovely week and you had a lovely Easter weekend. We're just at the beginning of it now. It's Friday. And um, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to chatting to you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.